Hello, welcome to today's session on the series, a professional course in power system analysis using ETAP software. Now in our WhatsApp community, I have already explained the basic concept of a power system, what power system analysis is all about and why we need to perform power system analysis. I also explained what ETAP software is all about and I continue teaching by explaining the concept of single line diagrams which are also known as one line diagrams which means that if you are watching this video and you are not part of our WhatsApp community then you are missing out on a high magnitude of vital information. However, if you wish to join simply drop a comment and the link will be sent to you as soon as possible. Today, I should be teaching on how to model a single line diagram using ETAP software. However, it is crucial to first understand the interface of ETAP software in order to make usage of the software easier and faster. That means that today we'll be talking on the overview of ETAP software before we proceed into modeling a single line diagram. Now, if you open ETAP software, this is the interface you will see. This blank space here is the part in which you draw or model your single line diagram. Now, coming from the top here, we have what we call the project toolbar. Now, this line here is known as the project toolbar. The first option there we see is new project which we use to create a new document then the next one is to open an existing document then the next one is to save the active document meaning after drawing your single line diagram performing your analysis you just click on this part to save the document after that we have our printing meaning after generating your results from ETAP software you have access to print the result. Now this is print preview where you see what you are about to print right before you print it and how it is going to come out when you print it. So the next one we have is cut as to delete an element. Next thing we have copy, paste and our pan to move around and this is for zoom in and zoom out. This is back forward and once you take your cursor to any of the icons it will tell you what it does a dialog box will appear showing what the icon does now this is for grid lines and if you click on it you see that the lines appeared on this workspace however if you click again the lines are out this is for switching interlock and this is hyperlink now after that, we'll be moving to what we call the system toolbar. Now this here is the system toolbar where we can see system manager and this is one line diagram which contains the one line components. Now these are the components we can find on ETAP. You can see we have AC component CSD. We have batteries, we have bus, we have cables, we have capacitors, circuit breakers, high voltage and low voltage. We also have motors. We also have DC elements. And now, where can we find these elements? Right over here. Now, this part of the elements are for AC elements. This is where we can find our AC elements. However, this part is where we find our DC elements. This is for DC elements. Then this part at the top is our instrumentation elements where we can find things such as our CTs, our PTs and our different type of relay. Voltage relay, reverse power relay, frequency relay, distance relay, differential relay, multifunction relay. So having explained that, we move on to our base and revision toolbar. Now this is our base and revision toolbar. 
this line here is our base and revision toolbar. Now the base has unlimited revisions. To save multiple sets of engineering properties, you can view base and revisions data differences. This is for presentations. It has unlimited presentation to set different views of the same system. Now this is for composite networks. It has an unlimited list of composites in projects for quick lookup and access. Now when modeling single line diagrams, we will get to understand this. And this one is our configuration status. It has unlimited configurations to save switching status of devices or loads, meaning our circuit breakers can be created in different configurations in order to perform multiple what-if studies. For example, what if a circuit breaker is closed, how does the system operate? And what if a circuit breaker is open, how does the system operate? That is what this is useful. Then the next toolbar is this, which is our analysis toolbar. The first one here is edit mode, in which it gives us the ability to have access to our AC components, DC components, and instrumentation components. Now, in the edit mode, in order to get a component, all you need to do is click on it, drag, and drop. And this is a transformer. So, this is a bus bar, this is a node bus. Taking the cursor to the element automatically displays the name of the element. Now, after that, the next icon here is load flow which is to perform load flow analysis the next one is short circuit analysis and the next is arc flash analysis motor starting or acceleration analysis then we have harmonics analysis transient stability analysis now we'll be going into this analysis one by one in the course of this series then at the top part, we have our menu, which this displays the mode you're in. We switch to load flow. See the icon here has changed. We come back to our edit mode. It comes back to edit mode. Now, this file, this includes commands for files, printings, conversions, project standards, settings, Options, editing libraries, setting defaults, selecting annotation fonts, printing libraries, base and revision data, setting for real time models. That is what this part is all about. As you can see, this project now, if you want to change the standards from ANSI to IEC, now, you understand the difference between ANSI and IEC standards from our WhatsApp community. I have already explained that. So, if you wish to know more, kindly drop a comment below and I'll add you to the WhatsApp community. So, it changed the frequency such as 50 Hz and 60 Hz, ANSI and IEC standards. Now, moving on to the system toolbar now this is the system toolbar the first thing we have here is our system manager which we can remove and put back depending on the amount of space we need on our workspace the next one is our network system which is for our one line diagram ac or dc one line diagram and the next one we have is our star systems which is for star views. Now, star views are used during protection and coordination. Star Z systems. Now, this one is used during protection and coordination when you're designing a distance protection scheme. Then we have our underground railway system. Next is our ground grid system. Next is our cable pulling system. And we also have ETAP real time systems. After that, next one we have there is our control system diagram, is AC control system diagram, and DC control system diagram. 
then we have our geospatial diagram which is for geographical information systems gis view and after that we have udm graphic logic editor which is udm is user defined dynamic model so this is user defined dynamic model graphical editor then we have our system dumpster assuming i should delete this component sorry if i should delete this it doesn't go completely so assuming you accidentally delete a component you can easily retrieve it from the system dumpster the transformer i brought out and i deleted is still there so if i want to delete it permanently then i delete again coming back to our wall line diagram so system dumpster then this is our scenario wizard for multiple what if studies now having said this we can assume that the basics of the interface of ETAP has been explained and the next thing we'll be moving into is how to model a single line diagram before we begin load flow analysis and that will be explained in the next lesson so stay tuned and see you in the next lesson now if you're yet to subscribe to this channel do me a favor by smashing that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notifications so you get notified the moment i upload a new video thank you